Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Uh, it's been a long week for me, <laughs> but when Sumaya asked me to introduce our Public Service Legacy Award, there was no way I could decline. Our keynote speaker, Mariam Ali, just gave me my new favorite quote. Corruption and oppression are bold, but you need to be bolder. Representative Pedro Marin has been nothing if not bold. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce my friend, who has always been bold in the face of oppression, Representative Pedro Marin. He was first elected in 2002 to represent part of Gwinnett County, and he was one of the first Latinos elected to the Georgia General Assembly. That deserves a round of applause. In his 16 years in office, Representative Marine has helped to defeat anti-immigrant legislation while facing unconscionable discrimination for standing up for immigrants and people of color. As far back as I can remember, Representative Marine has been an ally and a friendly face for the Muslim community. Through my work, I have seen how Representative Marine uses his own life experience to help mentor young people like myself, but also to advocate for issues that are important to our communities. He is the embodiment of leadership, character, strength, and has to be commended for his long history of service and dedication to our community. Please join me in welcoming our Legacy Award honoree, Representative Pedro Marin. As a state representative, I am pleased to work to strengthen our mutual relationship with diligence, fortitude, and enduring belief in the American dream. Muslim Americans have helped to turn emerging areas within the state of Georgia into thriving and respectable communities. My family back in Puerto Rico, uh, they were very in tune into politics. Uh, and I helped once uh, when I was younger uh, a race for, for the House of Representatives in Puerto Rico. I uh, moved to Georgia uh, 23 years ago, uh, and I was appointed in 2001 uh, by then Governor Roy Barnes to be part of the Commission on Hispanic Affairs. That was truly my first time going to the Capitol in Georgia, meeting the governor. Uh, and then in 2002, with the redistricting, there was an open seat where I live. And after uh, a lot of soul searching, asking my family, asking God, uh, to give me uh, uh, the strength to do it, I decided to run uh, and uh, I became uh, one of the first Latinos uh, ever in the Georgia uh, General Assembly uh, history to become a state representative. So truly, truly I'm, I'm, I'm blessed uh, uh, to, to be here. My first tenure uh, as a legislature, uh, I was very involved uh, with gangs and graffiti. And when I ran uh, for office, I ran on that platform. I had a bill uh, to be signed by, by the governor to eradicate uh, gang graffiti from uh, uh, businesses and, and personal residence. Then after that, of course, the education, the economic development becoming a bridge uh, between the diverse communities of the state of Georgia and state government. Uh, and, and one of my, my, my four takes, and, and I think I'm, I'm really, really gracious on, on, on doing this, is that I have brought to the state capitol uh, the, the, the groups that would never will go to the capitol and be seen. I had the honor that I had the 100 most influential Muslims of Georgia uh, at the state capitol. Me doing this is just to uh, expose uh, my colleagues and other people at the capitol and, and maybe at, at other events, uh, the richness that that diversity brings to the table. When we bring those different communities to the state capitol and they're, they're seen around the hallways walking, I just, it, it just fills me up. It, it gives me 100% uh, security that what I'm doing is the right thing.
All right. Politician at the podium. So bear with me. Salam alaikum. Good evening. I want to thank the Islamic Speakers Bureau, Sumaya Khalifa, and the Herbor for this prestigious award. Also, I want to congratulate my fellow awardees. It is truly an honor to share the stage with such an incredible group of Georgia leaders. I am humbled to have always received your support, and I look forward to continuing our relationship to create new opportunities for all Georgians. As many of you here know, our communities has grown exponentially over the last couple decades, and they continue to contribute greatly to our economy and progress. As the economy thrives, we all thrive. Our success as a state is inter interdependent as on one and another. I am reminded of the words of our nation's seal out of many, one. Our state becomes more diverse and our citizens become more engaged within the political process. Our collective voice grow more, even more powerful. Our 20, over 20 years ago, it would have been unfathomable to predict a Georgia like we have now, a Georgia that is strengthened by its diversity. Today, in many counties and cities, it is rare not to see your business thriving and helping to build vibrant communities. And believe me when I say that your contributions are seen and felt all over our great state. As our population grows, so does the level of development and entrepreneurship. We're all hard working individuals fighting for that American dream. And through our small businesses, of which there are many, we help to ensure that Georgia remains a vibrant place to do business. It is a tremendous accomplishment and a testament to our values and commitment to hard work. The Muslim community has become a fixture in the cultural transformation and economy development of Georgia. However, the work is not finished and there's still much to be done, specifically making sure the needs and concerns of our respective communities are taken seriously and addressed accordingly. We have to keep fighting for the rights of people who have historically been misrepresented and ignored. We have a collective responsibility to build a coalition based on shared experiences, values, and commitment to protecting our American dreams. There are many things that unite us. Our similarities are great, but we are so stronger because of our difference. A society needs all parts of its body to function and operate. Collectively, we are making the future of Georgia brighter. We love the United States because it has offers us a chance to become our very best. Again, thank you for honoring me with this prestigious award.